Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 8th episode of the 2nd season of Made in Abyss. And last episode was a bit of a rough one. Getting to see just kind of uh, the depths of pain and suffering the the old ex excavation expedition group went through. And yeah, not 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 pleasant stuff really. It was definitely not, uh, not, not like a fun happy camping trip sort of thing. It was a final destination, you're going to live slash die here. Things are going to get worse before they get better. He arguably does, doesn't get better. Uh, that, that, that's kind of what they went through. So uh, This episode, I'm sure, will be much more cheerful, though. So let's jump into it and, uh, you know, see see about that. So three, two, one. Okay, we are back to the present. I mean, that was not that hard of a thing to predict, but yeah. Did she always do that Sosu thing, or is that new? It's been a while since I've seen this character. I get nervous when she approaches. What is she doing? What is she doing? Uh, was that was that necessary? Uh Well, I, I guess that's that then. And yeah, having to remind us of this too. And then, yeah, it was fed to her. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we, we we get the opening this time. That's cool. Man, you really couldn't tell but we're just watching this opening and what a what a dark and depressing and heart wrenching show this is. I don't think I've ever watched any other show that really captures the spirit of adventure quite the way this show does. The form of the form of the wish takes. So Belov, how are you how are you holding up over here? Take it not well. If you can't even, you know, hide it at all. I mean, I get it, but...
Bailoff's not doing well. I, I guess. Wonderful. Uh, what am I gonna look at here? Uh, I know I didn't want to see her. So far, the episode has not been more cheerful than the last one. No, I really, I really don't. I think I'm going to be sick. And every time the show shows me a character and I think to myself, that's one of the worst mates I can imagine. The show just keeps topping itself. Like... Transforming into that, being able to essentially do nothing but give birth to babies that are taken away from you immediately, constantly. Well, we know that's not going to happen. Oh. Yeah, she still clearly cares about her. I mean, I, I guess in a way this form allows her to save everyone else, which is probably your wish. So... I really don't know. Yeah, people are alive, but this is this is no way of life right here. Cop copy you? Yeah, it looks like it's in there. 
We gotta take it out or Okay. You just you just found a second one, I guess. Was it supposed to be like, you know, rare or something? Ugh. Is that what that is? Okay, that, that really makes me nervous. Yeah, you really gotta watch out for these things. Ugh. Where's that? Are we going? I don't think anyone said. Make me more nervous. Is she? The uh, shedding or <laughs> yeah, retaliation now. Okay, I guess she was hungry. Man, that guy really is suffering. I mean, he's really begging, so... And we know he loses his human form. He's going in. Is he going to transform right here? I think so. Yeah, that looks a little bit more like what we see now, yeah. So it was just like an instant thing. Well, damn. Has it been reborn? That's that's a line. Uh, it is our home. Okay. It really feels like a cult now. But yeah, what about 
the, the, the Vuelco. Wish we could ask her. It's hard to really know. I want to go home. If I was sure that's what I would want, just go back to the surface. But obviously you can't, and... I mean, she's not really gonna do it, is she? I, I mean, she's still alive, so is that why she's imprisoned? You know, so she doesn't kill herself. Is that what that was all about? And then, she, yeah, she wakes up in the place, yeah. That makes sense. Keep her there so she can't, you know, leave at all. Abandon. <laughs> I... <laughs> not really a situation to say yay like that. But, yeah, he's no longer human. And then one narration voice talked about longing and all that. Way back in the day. So how the did she lose her clothes? I think I missed that part. You're such a baby. Okay. One and only one purpose. A secret wish. Okay, there's Faputa. So that's how that comes into play. Gotcha. I was wondering about that. Because, like, you know. 
That was the one thing I was confused about. Finally got my answer. You know, the only thing I was confused about, but what's on my mind the most? Oh, damn. Yeah, this child's upset, understandably. Yeah, definitely can hear that. Her countless siblings that were slaughtered. I would imagine she was her child, that's so interesting. Warm darkness. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, that became a lot creepier. Thank you for that. I wish I didn't have an answer to what that is, what those were now. What are these names? I mean, they all have weird names, really, but... Togi. Damn. Good question. Okay. Oh. Right. Well, I'm glad we got that answer. I feel like I had a lot of answers this episode. Nope, not a chance. Also a good question. At this point, what do you want to do? You know, I feel like I could never forget about her at this point. And yeah, we have her AD. Good God, this episode, that was a lot to take in. I mean, so was last episode to a degree, but... Man, last episode was like a setup for this episode. Where things really escalated. But yeah, I did kind of forget that this whole thing was in the context of her telling the story to them. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen episode 6.
this is down. Okay. You got an X title? The return, okay. I just, yeah, the, the cast credits and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Well, that... That was the eighth episode of the second season of Made in Abyss, and as as usual, the show is very soul crushing. That's not that that, that hasn't changed. That that's, that definitely has not changed. But like I said, we got got a lot of answers. I mean, the last episode was already heavily implied. The, yeah, they were eating the babies to keep to keep alive, and it's, it's, I can't even say that sentence. But um, yeah, essentially, the wish, the power that she got enabled her to save everyone in a way, so there is that, but like that's that's nobody nobody wants to survive like that. That's just just horrible. Especially if it results in taking the babies away from her while they're still alive and killing them while they're still alive. Like just uh, it's I, I I don't even really want to talk about it. It's so messed up. Especially with the way Wazu Kian just does it so matter of factly, like it's not it doesn't even bother him in the slightest. Like he definitely just stop being human before he lost his humanoid form that's that's for sure but because uh, they even gave her like a second egg just to make things work I guess like I wasn't exactly sure the mechanics of all that but it, it, you do never ask for a second egg and I know that much but yeah just I can only imagine what where I can't her name is so hard Vero is is going through with, with all this Uh, even like ask her if she wants to try the cooking. Like, no, like, are you an idiot? <laughs> I'm surprised she doesn't try to stop you from doing it. But, let's see how more complicated than that. She did contemplate, you know, taking her own life and all that, at least a couple times, really. But, it did not end up happening. Instead, she got locked into that one room. Not really a room, but section of the village, section of you, you do. It's, it's all such a weird thing to try to, try to describe, but. Yeah, she was left in there up until, yeah, up until she met, you know, Rico way, way later. But yeah, also, um, I, uh, I remember his name, uh, Be Beloff, yeah. He was also having a really rough time, right? He didn't want to, he definitely did not want to live like that. We didn't really get, we didn't really get, like, the general thoughts from the people too, too much, you know, from the unimportant side character kind of people, but we definitely got it from him, and... Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what really to say about this episode. They, because she, she just she kept getting bigger. They go on a little migration and they stop somewhere. She like eats some of the flying creatures and they all offer their flesh to the queen and have get their new forms. I, and the amount of creativity that goes into the story is commendable, but man, is it so horrible. Uh, And yeah, the other big thing we got was the origin of Faputa. Apparently it's, you know, like the last child from Yudu that was born, kind of carrying on her will, essentially. Right, wants to destroy the village and stuff like that. Like, I feel like just getting an answer to who she is is such a big deal. Like, I think that out of all the questions, that was what I wanted the most. Because she obviously had some kind of connection to her. They looked quite similar. I mean, obviously there was something there. Originally I just thought it was like her new form, but yeah. As the story progressed, it made it clear that that's not... Wasn't quite the case, but and that's yeah, that's where we're at. That she basically told this horrible story to all of them, and wouldn't surprise me if she was now uh, a little bit traumatized just by listening to that story, because that's some pretty horrible stuff. But now these past few episodes, with with, uh, with having them completed, we pretty much got the backstory. I do I do love the awkward looks that. Uh, Ver Veruko does, you know? Like, the bit where she was doing the whole what if, you know, someone told you to stop adventuring, just kind of wish she looks to the side with that kind of awkward smile. I just, I love it. I just, I don't know. She she's my favorite new character from this season. Definitely. Well, I'm sure I'm not alone in that, but just, this is how it is. And that's pretty much, yeah, what we left off on. We also had a bit where, you know, in the current, in the present, where Fabuta, I think, ripped an arm off or something. So... Yeah, that was also a little bit rough to watch, but yeah, not really, not really too much more to say on the episode. 
So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.